It's a raid! Oh, neat. Welcome to XBC.
What's going on guys? Excalibur here and we are back. Designers Challenge May Stream 1. Today we're going to be checking out all of the amazing starter CVs that you guys came through with in May. Hope you guys are doing good on a Saturday. We got an active hype train going on. Big hype, dude. Thanks guys. Sam popping off of the 49 month resub. We got Taste Day coming in with a 34 month resub. What else do we get? How we how did we get to hype train? Welcome to Gentlemen coming in with a 24 month resub. Two years in. Let's go. What's that? A gunblade? Gunblade hype? Let's go. Yeah, it's hot, man. It's hot. Wait, what do you want me to do? It's it's really hot here, so. <laughs> It is what it is. Garman coming in with a 33-month resub. Super hype, man. I love it. Thank you guys so much. Designer's hype, man. We got a lot. We got 55 submissions this month. It's going to be a big month. I also have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do for June yet. I had an idea, and I can't freaking remember it. I spent the last six minutes racking my brain trying to remember what the hell June was going to be. I really got to write this shit down, huh? <laughs> oh season six is in man season six right in the heat of it hope you guys are having fun hope you guys are having fun with the uh, spec ops missions the uh amic missions the contractor stuff hope you guys are uh enjoying that lots of money to be made lots of things to get makes the game a bit more fun for everybody Giving you guys options to be able to trade and what's not. Yeah, big time, man. Big time. So, appreciate you guys with the hype. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. While we do that, we are going to go ahead and just get right into it. Because I don't want to waste too much time since we have so many to get to here. And I want to be very thorough. So, with our first build we have from Moo Bear, this is the Atom. Yeah, a little guy. Look at this guy. Nice little shippy ship. Ah, I really like the front. It's cool little separations there. That's nice. Nice deco work here. Got some sentry guns on the ground, take care of little critters and stuff. As well as a uh, 15 on the bottom. And up top here we got another 15 and we got a, uh... Oh! Oh, radar! It's got radar! Yeah. Radar! Oh, radar love. And then we got some really interesting uh, docking clamps here. I thought you would put turrets up there, but now I'm looking at it. They're docking clamps. Oh, no, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not. Okay. No, you would put a turret up. Okay, so two more turret points. I swear those were landing gears that were open, but they're deco. It's cool. Yeah, they are some big engines, so... Yeah. So, with the with the um, challenge this month, I didn't really set too many parameters. I don't think I even set... Did I set a size class? I don't remember. But... I, I don't know. I guess it's up to what you guys. I don't know. Everybody plays different, right? So advanced thrusters are definitely achievable. Just depends on what you're doing here. We got a hangar coming in here. Very interesting little hangar door there. Room for advanced constructor behind the shutter door. We place on the ceiling. We've got the warp drive above as well as a small shield, and it looks like we got one capacitor and one charger. Everything's up there out of reach. Got some nice stairs going up to the uh, center area with a small constructor. We've got 200 ammo cargo, 200 input and output. Uh, we have a harvest loot 
of uh, 80 as well, so. Nice starter cargo here. Oh, that's a nice exit. That's really nice. Ooh, that's that's cool. Look over here too. That's, yeah, all right, all right. And then we got plenty of ways to get in and out of this thing. Pick and choose, whatever you need. We've got a little mezzanine here with some more cargo options. We've got uh, armor lockers, fridges. And here we got a little medical suite with uh, glass shower gang. Meds an O2 detector and all that fanciness. Oh, and then we come up here to the elevator. This takes us up to the bridge with a single little uh, cockpit there as well as a little passenger seat right here. That's cool. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, I like it. It's roomy. It's got a lot of room. I mean, definitely a lot of room to get like an HVs or SVs or both. And you can fit about three or four different things in the hangar. Uh, it doesn't take up too much room. I feel like if you wanted to get a full shield in here, you could probably do that. But it would just, you'd probably lose some hangar space. But yeah, I like the way everything's kind of set up interior wise. It looks, uh, it's all very integrated. I like it. Definitely feels like a ship. Yeah, okay, okay, we're gonna start doing uh, lighting cues. Is that what we're doing right off the bat? Some lighting cues? Okay, all right, Brit. Yeah, see, night, little night option there. Some glowies. Some beautiful glowies. What do we got here? We got uh, mainly iron, 13, 14. A little bit of Z and E for those uh, thrusters, as well as 2762 and Neo. So not too bad. Not too bad. Be cool if I could set like a key to kind of just toggle between night and day. That'd be nice. But all in all, very nice little. Uh, Nice little CV here. This is a uh, 4 1 as well. Wait. I always do that. Alright, hold on. Yeah, it's a core. It's a core 3. It's a core 3. Very reasonable. Very reasonable. That is by Moo Bear, and that is the Atom. Very nice, very nice looking. Definitely, definitely. All right, our next build is by Prokeon Latour. This is the MT-30 White Owl. Oh, fancy. Fancy. A fancy ship. Look at this thing. So we definitely got some expandability options here. You could obviously put an advance in the back as well as the front. Um, if you want to upgrade this. You get some faster uh, reverse and forward thrust. Uh, let's see here. We've got side thrust in the back. Side thrust, uh, let's see. We got upward thrust in the back. And then we've got, yeah, we got upward thrusts on both sides here on the naysails. So plenty of, uh, plenty of thrust. We've got two, uh, cannon turrets. Sorry, we got four cannon turrets in total, upper and lower. Some sentry guns there throughout. Coming here, we got a nice little area here. You could definitely get something small like an auger or a scarab or something in here. Uh, let's see, we got a couple standard boxes. We have a large constructor, some medical. 
Um, does have a warp drive. It has a couple large generators. 88,000 ammo cargo, uh, 200,000 standard cargo, as well as some uh, basic storage. Uh, each group of medium thrusters can be replaced with advanced. Space available for shield, chargers, capacitors inside each engine nacelle. There are shutter doors on top for access. Uh, okay, so we've got the main cargo here. We've got the bridge here. The fancy tables. Let's see, CPU extender upgrades here and here. Uh, we do have a shower. Facilities, food processor, fridge, a little nice little area here. The little uh, mezzanine, little passenger seat. Ah, this is nice, man. A nice, another nice proportion little uh, starter. It's not too cramped, you know. It's got some nice space to it, but it uh, it's built, you know, for a very standard function. I mean, obviously, you could change these turrets into something more uh, more menacing as you go. You can maybe make this like a light fighter. I don't really see any hard points for like fixed weapons or anything, but something could uh, obviously be built off of it if you wanted to. I guess that's another thing too. Like for me, I like my starter to kind of take me to mid game at least. Um, but you know, maybe some people it's just starter and then I'm going straight to the the combat ship or or the big mining ship or something like that. You know, we kind of go from there. So it is a uh, core. Two or two, and it is uh, mainly made out of carbon and some iron. Uh, just twenty two eighty neo. It's very very affordable. Unlock level twelve. Yeah, it's a good little early ship to get into if you want that uh, function with the added role play of the actual. You know, it it, it looks nice. It's a nice looking little. Uh, drop starter ship looking thing so very cool i like it man very nice that is by procyon latour and that is the mt30 white owl really nice shape shavy uh, shaping here too in the back kind of this joint work going to uh this to this to this looks really nice with all the points and stuff really well done Planetary PV, yeah. Very cool, very cool. Alright, our next build is by the Script HD. And this is the Star Runner Wasteland series. Look at this guy. Oh, Mercury Star Runner vibes. Let's go. Oh, well, it's literally called the Star Runner. This dad yeah, is giving me Star Runner vibes. This is sweet. Look at this guy. Yeah, this is sharp, man. So again, we've got spaces for uh, some upgrades of thrust here. It looks like we can go uh, advanced, and I would even say you could take these off and go uh, drive thrusters on the f back here. Maybe that's that was the intention. I don't know. Some side thrust here. Got this nice little uh, yeah as asymmetry going in the front here. Same same as here. We got some. Uh, Yeah, I'd say it's either room for some more, or you could replace that with a bigger one. We've got some uh, fixed hard points here for uh, weapons. One, two, three, four, five, six in total, which is pretty cool. Sentry guns. Uh, we've got additional thrust options underneath. Uh, plenty of them. If you look along here, we've got lots of thrust going underneath as well. Lots of really nice piping and shaping and deco work here, especially on the top. Uh, another hard point for another weapon up here. So that's cool. Like, I'd like to see this kitted out with all the different fixed weapons. It'd probably look really cool with all that asymmetry. 
Got the radar here. And we've got like a little hangar area here where you could definitely get SVHVs in. Uh, make sure to look at the images on the workshop page for the upgrade path. Try to upgrade ASAP to get the full potential of this vessel. Suggest thrusters, warp, and generator first. Have fun and don't forget to kill every Xerox gum you come across. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, nice, nice interior work. A cool little catwalk along here. Looks like this is where all the uh, upgrades would go, like the warp drive and the uh, generator and stuff along here as well. Nice little sideways ladder, just looking cool. Bigger shield option over here. Wow, lots of upgrades. Some, maybe some more core systems along here. Medical facilities. Yeah, you guys, you guys, that shit, mm. the fact that that's a thing, man, damn it. All right, we got a ladder going here, let's go into here, got the advanced constructor here, a little cargo box action, what do we got here, we got 335, 500, I'm triggered, 320 here, 320 here, so three full cargo systems as well as a full ammo cargo system. Uh, so lots of storage on a starter, definitely. Definitely a lot of storage. Uh, you do have the medical stuff up top here. I didn't see that. As well as some kind of a uh, little birthing area here. Oh, God, we got shower freaking disgusting moldy shower curtain. The tile looks like hard water stained and it's gross. All things gross. Standing on events, gross. What, what's this? Is this a thing? Ooh, like a little smuggling area here. That's clever. I didn't see that. Oh. Wow, that's a lot of, uh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, he's got a smuggler's hatch, man. That's cool. All right. Um, and this looks like to be a, uh, little airlock here. That's cool. Little airlock action. Dude, I'm just happy there's no triggers in here. I, I don't really see any, uh, there's no weird levers to pull or anything. I think, uh, I think script's getting soft or something. I don't know. He's finally, he's finally had it. Not bad. that for he's gone to the dark side <laughs> yeah I don't see anything I don't think he triggered me this time I, I mean you know every once in a while he doesn't so he's got to keep it you know gotta mix it up so I'm not expecting it I understand Good stuff, man. Very, very nice ship. This is, uh, let's look at this here. 17,000 iron, 10,000 carbon, uh, 2766 Neo. Um, yeah, it looks really nice on the resources here. Really light. Um, this is a core two. Very cool. Modeled off the one of my favorite uh, Star Citizen ships. This is the Star Runner Wasteland series by the Script HD. Very, very, very well done on the shaping. It definitely looks like the Mercury Star Runner. Great work, Script. Some nice options so far here. 
our next build is by uh, ST Hot Pants. This is the Solar Grinder. Ooh, bit of a different uh, concept here. It was mining. This thing mines. It's got solar. Sentries on the top. It's got some cannons on the sides. Lots of thrust in the back. Did I mention it has solar? <laughs> it's got lights. Looks like it's got some hard points for future... Uh, well, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Come in here, you got a little hangar space for stuffs. You've got uh, some boxes. You got some really colorful med stuff. Come down here, you got a quick uh, out here. You got a quick up as well. Upside down food processor. Let's go. We got some pink stuff here. We've got a uh, F F would that be food or would that be it's not furnace. What, what would this be? Farm. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, it's farm. Forget the fancy horticulture, you know, crap. It's farm. Here's where farm goes farm. Advanced constructor, or uh, or decon if you wanted to, comes with a it comes with an advanced constructor right off the bat. Damn, big money. Then we've got a little hover area to get out quick from the cockpit. It's got 320 loot salvage. You've got uh, 640 crafting storage, 319 harvest storage. So I mean, this this is a little machine right here. This thing gives you all the space. You fit a lot in here. Solar power, uh, solar panels are deceiving a little bit here. Surprised you fit all that in there, but yeah, I guess the sides and stuff are lots and lots of container extensions wrapping around. Warp drives integrated. Uh, does this come with a shield as well? Let's look here. See, we got a shield, we got a shield, shield. No shield. Oh, it has a shield. Okay, I don't know. Not seeing shield. Shield. Defense has small little guy. It has a little guy. That's all you need for a miner and stuff. You're just trying to run away. Very good. You got some uh, expandable options, possibly for some CPU extenders. But all in all, it's got room. It's got everything you would need to start, including a farm spot and a uh, very tight, compact little uh, little setup here with room for uh, a smaller vessel as well. Can't go wrong here, and it mines, so it's a it's a nice inexpensive way to uh, get the mining going. It's only uh, it's mainly plastic, a little bit of iron, twenty five eighty six neo. Uh, it does have a little of a restroom and as cosium, which uh, it's a small amount. I wonder if it's a repair station or something. Um. Maybe it's the advanced constructor. Oh, the drill turrets themselves. Yeah, it could be that as well. It is an unlock level 15. But yeah, it's really cool, man. That is by ST Hot Pants, and that is the Solar Grinder. Saves on the fuel as well. All right, it's going to get us to our next build, and this is by Fuji. And this is the DBI Crimson Hawk. Ooh. Look at this little dark wing looking thing. It's cool, man. It's a nice shape right there. Got some hard points here for future weapon spacing here. So four total. As well as, well, sorry, five total. You got one in the front there as well. Yeah, this is nice. 
Got thrust all around. Hard point there for an additional turret as well as the two that are up there and the bottom two. So lots of turret spots as well. It has a hangar. Definitely again you could fit like a small HVSV. Uh, looks like we've got the warp drive, compact shield. Uh, we have a decon and an advanced constructor right off the bat. Meds O2, you have a capacitor and charger integrated. Um, C4? I'm assuming you mean like a core 4? Core 4 probably. Fridge and all the uh, accoutrement. Let's see. Greetings, welcome aboard. Crimson Hawk designed to satisfy adrenaline and joy seekers alike. Core 4 upgrade location, combat cost, and likely shielded steel hull. Mining outfit ready, just add lasers. So it could be a little minor too. Hard glass is looking good. A little passenger seat action here. It's sharp, man. It's a core four. Really nice shaping. Look at that, just really inexpensive too. It does have the Z and E there for the uh, advanced constructors, but oh, core three, core three. The C four was a core four upgrade. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I really like the shaping on this one. It's compact and everything, but it still has some uh, character to it. It looks like landed here. Oh. Yeah, that's that's cool, man. Yeah. No, I was thinking that Romulan. I dude, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> we haven't done Battlestar Galactica yet, so I'm not I'm not familiar with the Romulan, so I guess we'll get that at. I still can't remember what I wanted to do for the June Designer Challenge either. So that's good. But yeah, very, very nice, very inexpensive. Unlock level 15. This is by Fuji, and this is the DBI Crimson Hawk. <laughs> Come on, guys. I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking, the Romulans are from Star Trek. Calm down. Jesus, everybody's raging. It's okay, guys. It's okay. It's cool. I'm down with the verse, man. It's cool. I'm a Trekkie. You do the do the finger thing, see? It's good. We're good here. Calm down. <laughs> oh. Alright, Brit. Alright, Brit. Let's see what you've brought to the table here. This is the Mag Beluga by the Angry Sprit. Yo, look at this guy, like a big caterpillar looking thing. Look at this thing, a little single, oh, that's cool, man. It's got the little uh, asymmetrical cockpit on the side here. Yeah, it's big, but it's probably not on resources because a lot of that is uh, trussing. I really like the uh, ramps too, that looks cool. Yeah, it's gotta be Caterpillar influence, definitely. Some Drake hype. I mean, I mean, Drake the ship company, not Drake, like, you know, hotline bling or anything. Yeah, this is nice, man. Got a SV uh, flight deck here. Let's go into the big uh, HV bay. Got room for some. Uh, or no, I guess that's just a go here. What we got we got a shield. Got some generators with room to upgrade them. Access to fuel. What else? What's this here? 
Oh, gravity. Look at that, Fred. It's got gravity. Fred likes gravity, I hear. Um, Axid. Warp, warp core. I like how everything's accessible there. Yeah. And we got big SV bay. Repair station upgrade. Look at this thing. It's like, that's a serious medical station. It's like fully upgraded. Advanced constructor, a couple small constructors, a couple fridges and a food. Food thingy. 376 main storage. Food storage. Ammo storage of 64k. Medication fridge. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... We could do a lighting queue for you, Brit. We'll do that. As long as you don't ask for one for every other ship after it. Look at this. We got like a cool little anvil looking thing going underneath. That looks cool. Alright, this is where you get to your uh, cargo, just like with the uh, caterpillar. That's cool. It's got some separated uh, kind of RP feel. Functionally, what would you do with this? Is this just room for more, more stuff? If you wanted to add stuff. Or is there, is there some kind of, is this like where I could put more cargo systems if I wanted to? Like, what, what do we, or is this RP? There's no wrong answer. Any answer makes sense. Ammo here in the front. Absolutely, you can never have enough storage. I agree. I agree. Very cool, man. Very cool. This is, uh, let's see here. This is a core... Two? Core two? It is a unlock level 12. It's uh, a lot of iron carbon as well. Only 2302 Neo. Uh, had a little bit of satium, a little, a little bit of elemental, but, um, yeah, we definitely achieved that. It's got a couple cannons on the top. Uh, well done. Yeah. Very nice. Looks like we got some upgrade options here as well. Back here. Very nice. That is by the Angriest Brit, and that is the MAG Beluga. Great work there. Great work, sir. What box? <laughs> good stuff, man. Good stuff. All right. Our next build is by Ent. And this is the Spartan. Ooh. Yeah, I love the shaping on this. Look at that. Definitely end shaping. Looks like we got hard points in the front. We've got six in total. Six in total here, three on each side. You got this nice inset like cockpit here. It looks really nice. Yeah, lots of really nice kind of uh, acute shaping here with the thin blocks and the transitioning here. Uh, you've got some turrets as well to back up those fixed weapons on the front. Uh, you got some more nice glass work kind of revealing the warp drive. Really nice look here. I forgot to do the lighting cue. I, I, I will go back, Britt. Hold on. We're going to do a lighting cue for both of these. Uh, we've got thruster works here in the back. In all directions, looks like we've got some additional options here for upward thrust. As well as maybe... Yeah, looks like we got room for another uh, thrust here. Do a quick... Uh, playing cue here, there we go. 
Yeah, some nice glowies. When you get that glass, especially at night, it looks really nice here. Brit's got some glowies. Look at that. Some major red glowy awesomeness. All right, like, and catch you later, man. Yeah, very nice, very nice. I think I'll leave it off for the inside air. I should maybe do that. Just make uh, always nighttime when I'm looking inside. I think I'll try to do that from now on. Look at that. Ooh. This little hangar space here. Generator access. I don't know what happened there. Oh, generators over there. Okay. Oh, yeah. More generators. Dude, this feels so shippy ship. It's crazy. It's like maximum shippy ship. 329,800. Oh my god, I'm triggered. Dude, so it's got two 320k cargo systems. Small constructor. Uh, we've got some additional spots for CPU upgrades. Advanced constructor. Cool spinny thing on the top. Welcome aboard. Ship is operating at base performance levels. Tons of upgrade options here. Um, that's very cool. Dude, this is so shippy ship. This feels nice. Look at that, s that display there. I like that too. That looks interesting. All this looks really interesting, the way it's all congested in here. It looks good. Very mechanical. Come in here, you got your medical... Medical stuff. Gravity generator, pentaxid tank. Oh, wait, what? Ooh. Dude, this is a sweet ship, man. Ooh, hard points for things. Shippy ship, shippy ship. I guess you'd have to tear that off the uh, sweet looking deco kind of spots. Oh, yeah. Not, nothing better than a warm lemon lime Gatorade. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's classic. Good stuff. Some more hard points here. Turret position, remove LCD protector, and fluff. Remove the fluff. Yeah, that's classy. Oh, more, dude. Like, just the amount of time he took doing that, that'd be every, like, I could build a whole ship at that time. That would take me to do that. I love the front, dude. I can't get over how cool that front looks. Oh, Stuart slept in. Dang it. You didn't, you're still here in, in some decent time, man. You could backtrack a little bit. This is classy, dude. It's classy. It's got a ton of character, a ton of really cool shaping. I like the center kind of V thing, and then it goes down. The nacelles, of course. Ridiculous, dude. The amount of shaping he could pull off is pretty nuts. This is unlock level 12. It's a core 2. It is only 10,000 carbon, 7,000 iron. 2222 Neo. This this thing's really, really, really low end, low cost here. Like this is damn. Damn. And it's got a spot for a big old radar. And some solar hype. Yeah, this is awesome. I don't know, man. I <laughs> I really want to use these ships. Every time I see all these ships, I really want to use them. These are amazing. Like, yeah. 
so good so good this is by n and this is the spartan so this is where i would stop and talk about june but i still can't remember what the heck i wanted to do in june I, it was a good idea, too. It's driving me nuts. I don't know. Give me a second, guys. Give me one sec. <laughs> oh, micro HVs for infiltrating POIs, defense tower, uh, large cargo freighter, HV SV built for sector command. Drone hunting CV. Hmm. No. EVP CV now. Um, no, I don't think it was a CV. I think um, I I think I have an idea. Um, maybe this is what I was saying. No, you know, I had two ideas. Okay, so I'll reveal the one idea that's not going to be it because I need to research it more. But um, I want to do I want to do kind of a challenge um, slash event for a month. Uh, I don't want to do it now because we're still really into season six. I want to do it more on a trailing month when we're not so hard active in the season. Um, but my idea is I want to uh, I want people to build bases that can withstand different levels of uh, base attacks and I want to actually trigger the base attacks in the stream and see how long it takes them to take over um, the base so that's the idea I want to do like really like hardcore combat level bases that can't be taken out or whatever so but I need more research because I know there's tons of way you could cheese that and I don't want people to like bury the core and do all these things to prevent it like I I want it to be achievable for the AI but I still want to I want to see how um, how well you guys can can do these like with a set size class like it, there's going to be a lot of constraints. So it's I'm not ready to do that this month. It's it's too much of a it's almost like a master challenge, not not even just a regular designer challenge. Uh, but that that's kind of an idea for later. Um, I think we still have a couple verse months that we can do. Um, what are some of the big ones? So Battlestar Galactica is one of them. Um, there's another one too that was kind of like looming that, that we haven't done yet um, no we've done Expanse that was the first one we did was Expanse we, we probably could do another Star Wars one definitely I feel like one Star Wars month isn't enough for Star Wars Babylon 5 could be a cool one yeah um Stargate. Yeah, so there's still some verse months in there. We did Star Citizen, definitely. That was a really good month. So, um, yeah, so I think what we'll do this coming month is I want to shed light on what I always say is the, uh, the most annoying part of my gameplay, 
but I don't think it's the most annoying part of everybody's gameplay. And I, I want to see what you guys use and what you guys design for salvage. So my, my idea for this month is uh, salvage vessels. Um, now, I'm not going to limit it to CVs or HVs or SVs. It can be all three of them. Uh, you have the multi fix multi tool uh, for SVs. You have the, um, you know, but OK, so what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to take a miner and just slap some multi tool turrets on it or whatever and, and call it a thing. I don't want you to take one of your starter CVs and throw a, a multi tool turret out and call it a salvage thing. I want it to be designed very specifically for salvage. So like the um like my terrapin was a multi roll salvage city nice so like the terrapin right like i made this very specifically for kind of salvaging but um you know it's got the two uh decon stations here it's got room for a multi-tool turret up here or you could change it out here as well uh it does have rocket launchers fixed rocket launchers so you could probably deal with i don't know I, i'm not gonna say you do like yeah it, it, it's enough to kind of protect yourself and maybe uh do some banded stuff but really the sole focus of this is to salvage after so some something something that is built for that i want to see what some of your hvs are that you guys use for salvaging um but i want to you know and we've done this in the past right um can you go back a couple months and grab the did we just do this did we just do this very recently or are you saying for something else Let me let me do this. Hold on. Ain't an idea. Make this easy here. Hold on. All right. So functional basis, functional basis, small agile SVs, Star Citizen, long range CVs, SVs. Sorry, Halo verse. Core 2 Combat CVs, Combat HVs, Star Wars Verse, Combat CVs, High G Vessels, Star Trek. Yeah, we haven't, yeah, we haven't done this in a long time. Trade Vessels, First Spawn Goal, Talon Concept, Combat Specific SVs, Disposable Evac, Snow Theme Builds for Christmas, two years ago, one year ago. Expanse verse, hard race, yeah. No, we haven't touched salvage in a while. If have we ever? I mean, well, that was the second one ever. So yeah, we haven't done it in a long ass time. So I think we're good. Um, yeah. So that that's the idea. So salvage, it could be HV, SB, CB, but I really want you to design it with salvage in mind. So, you know, doing the actual salvage, you know, think of the way you strategically place turrets to where they're viewable. You know, if you have some cool way to do that with LCDs or, or you know, if you, it'd be cool if there was a way you could show like the proximity with LCDs maybe so that you could line up the LCD. That would be cool because that's always a big problem when you're solo is knowing where your arc is for a multi-tool turret. And not having to constantly go back into the pilot, move it, go back into the turret. Oh, I'm still not there. So it'd be cool if there was actual like point references of LCDs that you could toggle that can show the uh, area of effect of your turret. So th think about stuff like that. Like design something that would make salvaging um, less freaking lame you know like think of ways to solve some of those salvage issues uh with the hvs you know think about you know it needs to be able to go down into the hole 
or if you have to pull it and then like it's got some pointy down vertical ones uh think about the cargo think about um the weight distribution um think about all these different things uh nine core in tier four yeah and i'm not going to put any kind of limits of i'm not gonna put really limits on it because i understand that a lot of these especially hvs and stuff they might have to be really big in order to kind of handle the operation but i want to leave it open because what i'm thinking of isn't working for me um because I, I don't enjoy it i don't enjoy that that play uh that playthrough of salvaging it's really annoying but i'm wondering is there something i'm not thinking of that you guys do so i want to see that i want to see what you guys do and i don't want to limit it to what i think it should be so it's going to be open um and then I'm, I'm assuming you guys need these in, in the season anyway. So, you know, you guys are probably already using these. You've tweaked them out. Like, let's see what you guys got. Please, guys, design something new. Uh, if it's something that you do use and it's a very recent thing and um, you've tweaked it out and it's all perfect and stuff, then I totally understand that. But remember, as always, the designer's challenges is for you guys to be inspired to build new things, not for me to look at things that you posted a year ago. So just remember that as well. And uh, I will have the brief uh, when Filbert reminds me to do it. Oh, sometime this week. We'll see. Our next build is by Mechanical Knight. And this is the Igbo. Yes, Stuber. I can. Wow, look at this guy. Got all that thrust. Big old hanger in the back here. Warp drive up top. Plenty of turrets up high. Solar underneath. Very, very glowy internal hair. Let's turn off the uh, lights, get the, uh... Oh, ooh. All right. The glowies. We've got 323,000 cargo. We've got a little garden here. Medical suite. We've got the generators in the center, another garden on this side, advanced constructor, lots and lots of fuel, um, shield, the compact variety, yeah, yeah, no nonsense, man, it's just a pretty cut and dry, all around functional uh, starter CV here, fridge and food processor, got everything. Definitely got room for more stuff if you wanted to add things. Another highly functional build by Mechanical Knight. Yeah, solar on the bottom, definitely. Solar on the bottom, let's go. Everything's accessible. Very cool, man. Very cool. So I'm assuming this maybe connects to something bigger later on. I notice a lot of your builds have kind of modular uh, capabilities. So maybe later on you're using this as like a dropship or something. It is mainly made out of iron and plastic. It is only 2686 Neo. It does have the uh, hydroponics built in, so you will need that to get it in. And it's about a thousand safium as well, so it looks like maybe there's some protected areas where it has higher uh, blocks. Lots of lights. Very cool, man. Very cool. That is by Mechanical Knight, and that is the Igbo. Oh, 
Lots of guns. Indeed. Indeed a lot of guns. We have a first time entry, guys. This is by Lamb. This is the Imperial Interceptor. That's a big boy. I mean, relative. It's not that big, but holy crap. Look at this thing. Star Wars Fury Class. Oh, he's got like LCDs that tell you what to do. I like it. Let's look around here. Look at this thing. Holy crap. Da 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 uh 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 uh. I need more soundboard stuff. Da 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 da. Beep beep. Da 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 I do, dude. My soundboard is so trash. I need to just spend a whole day doing my soundboard again. Really bad. I'll get there, guys. Don't worry. One of these days before Christmas. All right, we got six hard points right here. Seven, eight, nine, ten in total. You could probably put some turrets here. Looks like he's got turret points here. Tool mining turret recommended for making it retractable. If you right click with your texture and color tool and count from left to right, one to. Oh, he's not playing. He's like telling you the colors. All right, all right. Yeah. Two radars. Oh, wow. This has got like high end long range. Like it's uber, uber range. That is intense. I've never seen two radars. That's, that's incredible. Wow. We've got upgradable uh, thruster ports here. Welcome Look at that, Stubert popping off five gift subs. Big hype to Stubert. Look at that, man. Welcome to XBC. 21 Bama. We got Lycan. We got Hot Pants, Bellamonte, and Lemus. With the gift subs. Look at that. Welcome Very to cool. XBC. Thank you, Stubert. Very nice of you, man. That's interesting. Welcome Look at that. XBC. I like that little. Why does that look so interesting? I don't know. It looks interesting the way you did that with the different sizes. Look at that. Welcome Jeffman coming SBC. in with five gift subs as well. Look at that. Silent J. Randall's taking care of for the Welcome month. Reaper. Big Loan and Chumley. Welcome Dude, I love that, man. SBC. Like, J. Randall is. Let's see. What is he at? J. Randall has subscribed for 32 Welcome months in a SBC. row, and every single one has been a gift sub. <laughs> that's that's dude that's awesome man welcome to xbc he's taken well well taken care of yeah i really like this dude i like the way that's set up i've never seen that done that looks really clean because it breaks it up right it just looks interesting it looks like it's supposed to be some kind of magnetic ceiling or something oh you two pair nice nice and that, dude, that, that's what's awesome about Anvil, right? And just, you know, my channel community as a whole is like, you know, I mean, there's people like pairs dedicated endless, countless hours to the community and everything. And it's like, you know, everybody gets taken care of, man. It's... Love it, dude. I appreciate you guys. What do we got here? Big old hanger. Lots of words. A lot of, this is a lot of words, guys. Definitely you should read that. Very important. Let's see. We got a hanger container. Oh, it says it. I love it when it says it. 320, 320, 320, 320, 320, 5, 10, 320s. And then it's got boxes with things, medical and quest items, O2, pentaxid, fuel, small weapons, ammo, armor. Oh, and he spelled armor the American way. Cool. We got armor boosters, tools. Like, it's all great, man. This, this is... This is sweet. Lots of lights on the top here. What do we got here? How do you get out of hangar though? Is there a door to get out of hangar? Is that oh this is just a fake oh. 
No, it's like a glass thing. Oh, I guess you're just supposed to take this down when you're done. Please, sorry for wall of tech. You can turn this off when the info with the P menu. Okay, let's do that. We turn it off with the P menu. Oh! Well, it's like completely gone. That's cool. Got some stairs. This is cool, man. It goes off to the mezzanine decks here. Dude, there's a lot of uh there's a lot of room here. Got a repair station buried down. So hydroponics. Damn, big old hydroponics area here. This is deceivingly big here. Come in here, we've got some lower decks. Lower decks. I was seeing there's a show, a break off show for Star Trek called Lower Decks. That's kind of an interesting concept where you get to I, I want them to do a lower decks like Star Wars edition where we get to just see the regular uh, stormtroopers and stuff kind of like they did on uh, what was it robot chicken or something like where they had I just want to see the day to day of a stormtrooper just a regular guy you know that'd be fun yeah room for all the engineering uh, access here It's good? Okay. I, I haven't so I haven't finished Discovery. And then once Discovery's finished, I was gonna do the bright was it Outer Worlds or not Outer Worlds, um uh, the one with Spock. The break off one from Discovery. And then and then yeah, lower decks I guess next. This is cool. Like a S V docking area or something. Strange New Worlds, thanks. Large constructor, small constructor, constructor, deconstructor. We got more stuff. Officers' quarters. Nice. You get bed, you get TV. I'm not seeing that TV. I don't know. I don't think you thought this through here. I will not be able to read any of the subtitles. That's a really long way away. But it's alright, you got a glass shower, so it's forgivable. Uh, engineering, more access to engineering. Pink war shield, that's weird. But alright. Uh, medium shield, tons of room for upgrades here. Like, tons of room. Room to uh, repair all the uh, thruster engines as well. Come down into here, and we've got the actual... Uh, bridge here with some uh, passenger seats and you've got tons more passenger seats and you got a captain's thing look at that oh Picard I haven't seen Picard yet either so tons of Star Trek to watch um, what 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 got me I don't know we were watching Discovery and then we ended up starting something else and and then uh, we started Peaky Blinders. I've, I've watched them all, but I had to catch my wife up. Then we got upset third season or something. And now, what are we watching now? I don't even remember what's wrong. Oh, we're rewatching all the John Wicks so that we can watch four because that just came out. The stream. So, yeah, we'll get there. We'll get back to it. Back to Paramount Plus or whatever. But yeah, very nice, man. This is the Imperial Interceptor. And this is a unlock level 15, 53,000 carbon. It's all made out of plastic, tons of trees. Uh, it does take eight bridges. It takes a bit of a restroom and has cosium. But uh, other than that, not too, not too bad here. It is a uh, core three. Forget the other series of Picard. It really starts. Wait, wait, wait. So you're saying the show Picard, right? You're not saying like next generation. You're saying like you're saying I should watch Picard before I watch any of that other stuff. Is that what you're saying? I mean, I've already watched Discovery, so. Oh, each season is a different. Oh, OK, OK, fine. Very nice. That is a first time entry, and that is by Lamb, and that is the Imperial 
interceptor very cool man welcome welcome to the designer's challenge sir very well done our next build is by scamp and this is the bibu we've already seen this little guy it uh it delivered successfully the uh the most electronics on our day one There we go. On our day one, um, Amec week. Sorry, week one, not day one. This little guy's adorable. Look at him. He's got a little uh, turret spot there, future turret placement. Got a little side access here. Thrusters, detector, and it's got three uh, upward cannon turrets. Very cool. Come in, you got the constructor. He comes with a repair station. Oh, disgusting man. Um, access to the other side here. Outward. Got bed. Oxygen. Medical. Hey, you got everything. What am I missing? Cargo. Integrated cargo here. Let's see what we got. We got a harvest cargo of 246,000. Um, harvest. So I'm assuming maybe this would be like a drill turret space. It's probably what's going on. It's probably a drill turret space or multi tool turret. Solar on the sides here is uh, nacelles, adding some of that power savings. Almost the top. Very good. Very good. This is a uh, unlock level 12 core 2. It's uh, mainly made out of carbon. It's really, really nice. Probably the most inexpensive one we've seen so far. It's only 2000 Neo. Does that take a little bit of Sathium? The repair station built in has a little bit of a restroom and Zascosium. But other than that, it's very, very inexpensive. Well done. Well done. That is the Bibu, and that is by Scamp. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Our next build is by Lycan. And this is the Bubba Gogo 2. Just in time. Yes, look at this thing. Nice. It's got a laser. Look at that laser. It's got laser. That's wait. I feel like I've seen this before. Have I seen this before, Lycan? I feel like I've seen this before. Oh, I think I saw it on a base tour, maybe. Did I see this on a base tour? It's a newer version. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, some cool LCD work here. It's got a green phaser. And it's got a red laser. It's got four cannon turrets on the top. Got some nice tracked uh, thrust nacelle thingies there. Four hard points on the bottom for more turrets. Big old hanger. It takes you right into the main area here. Everything right at your fingertips. We've got glass shower. Let's go. Modern toilet. Let's go. We've got advanced constructor. Two small constructors. Fridge, food processor, you've got ample room for upgradable engines on the top as well as a shield. Uh, I'm assuming you could probably even put the big shield in here and it wouldn't take away from any uh, space for your uh, SV or HV. Yeah, plenty of room here for all kinds of upgrades. Warp drive accessible, uh, cargo on the sides here, full medical suite. This has 144 harvest cargo, 144 constructor cargo. 
then uh, some other boxes as well as a passenger seat and the pilot seat yeah it's all just right here I like it that kind of style right here I like it I like it good stuff you could fit a massive SV in there HV though that'd make a good drop ship later on too when you're uh, done with the starter phase of your gameplay you've got hard points on the sides as well for turrets uh, harvest cargo I mean it could be a drill miner it could be a salvage miner yeah very functional very uh, very small and compact uh, it's only dude it's it's really inexpensive 3869 iron 6772 carbon a little bit of Z and E 1794 neo it's really really inexpensive uh, it's got plenty of function it's a uh, core two yeah that, that's awesome really 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 cheap good work lichen Good work, man. Very, very cool. This is by Lycan, and this is the Bubba Go Go 2. Nice. All right, guys, we are going to go as long as my voice can handle here. Um, also, let's see. So, tomorrow, guys, I am not going to be able to do my normal anvil let's talk stream uh i will be off island and i will be off island until tuesday so what i'll probably do is i'll have to see but i'll probably make up for monday stream on tuesday i'll try to do that um now as far as the uh the amic and the uh, spec ops that will still be announced and that will be announced uh tomorrow It'll be announced in Discord. And what I'll do, I think, is... Um, how would I do this? I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. I think um, on Tuesday, I will do... We'll go there and we'll actually show what everybody's done. And we'll, we'll pay it out on Tuesday, I think. Either that or we'll announce it in Discord. But, yeah, I guess we could just announce it in Discord this week. I don't know i don't know i'll see how it goes but either way it'll get handled and you guys will know the next missions for next week tomorrow do we still want to do the time frame of do today yeah, yeah 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 it's all it all just states and i don't know if it's tuesday yet so we i i think we could just still do everything tomorrow it's just you won't see it live on my stream sadly so um yeah all right i might even recruit one of our other uh content creators to maybe make the announcements and they can actually they can actually go there and do that so i'll see that too so that, that might be a thing as well uh so just just stand by for an announcement for that for tomorrow but i you won't see me again until tuesday after today's stream oh just so you guys know that up front i've got to go off island and then uh on thursday i have my procedure but I don't normally stream on Thursday anyway, and then that'll kind of tell me going forward what I'm doing. So let you guys know what happens from there. But yeah, not not a holiday. Some medical stuff, so we'll see how it goes. But thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, this is super blurry, man. Just straight up blurry screen at this point. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's a screen I could read. Wow. Okay, that's like amazing. All right. Um, our next build is by Commander uh, Hugh Tatron, and this is the Viking Multi Crew Starter. Thanks, Stubert. I appreciate that, man. Appreciate all your well wishes, guys. Yeah, look at this little guy.
And he's like a monocle. If I could just get like one little monocle to read with, that'd be cool. So we've got four turrets and then, well, sorry, five turrets in the front in total. Really nice kind of bridge up here in the front. That looks really cool. Welcome to XBC. Hey, what's up, boss man? Coming in with a 35 month resub. How you doing, man? Big hype for boss man. Come in here, we've got quick reaction passenger seats as well as a hangar. It looks like a dropout area. That's really cool. Expandability here. Come here, we got 307 harvest cargo. We've got 259 regular cargo. We've got advanced constructor, small constructor. Bathroom area, food area. Straight to the bridge, passenger seat here. Upward, we've got the actual bridgey bridge. Access to the warp drive. Medical in 02, and it looks like we've got two uh, medical thingies. Generator, room for another, uh, sorry, room for another generator, shield. Access to the top, as well as access outward on the bottom. Very nice. Yeah, everything flows really nice. Big, nice hanger. That's solid. I like all the flat framing on the nacelles here. Looks like we've got future hard points for fixed weapons over here. Total of four, as well as uh, thruster upgrades. Uh, you could just turn those into advanced, I'm assuming. As well as downward. Yeah, nice. Let's see. This is a unlock level 15. No, it's not. Stop it. I don't get how when I press this and this the thing is further away. Why is it doing that one? I don't know. 9860 iron. Got some titanium here. Only uh 2538 Neo. Um yeah. It is a unlock level 12. It is a core. Ooh. Great job, man. This is by Commander Qtatron, and this is the Viking Multi Crew Starter. All right, our next build is by All Name Muse Gaming, and this is the Atmos uh, Starter. I really need real glasses. These are just ten dollar mag magnifying glasses or whatever. Drugstore. Okay. All right, Atmos starter. Uh oh. Uh oh. See, we haven't done it in so long, and now we we made a mistake. Made a little mistake here. Hold on. I don't have it. Hey, what's up, Buko? Welcome, welcome to the stream, sir. I did subscribe to it. What? Oh, Atomos. Oh. Oh, it's Bossman's fault. Okay, cool. Wasn't me. 
Wasn't me, guys. What's up, Dedrick? How you doing, man? <laughs> yeah, so it's the Atomos starter by All Name Muse Gaming. Uh oh, boss man's doing a live edit. Here we go. Aha. Little solar action here. All right, all right. Yeah. I mean, especially in a starter vessel, right? Having that little boost of uh, efficiency with the power there is freaking awesome. So is that... Oh, I see. This is interesting. So what, you jump? I guess you would just kind of jetpack up. Was that intended? I wonder if it's supposed to be the other way. No, it's intended because it's got that. Eh, okay, it's an interesting way. Let's jump in here. It's got um 384 container controller. It's got a advanced constructor. What's this? Oh, that's just the solar panel. It just looks cool. So is this not airtight? Or are these airtight? I don't know. Maybe they are. Interesting. Um, food processor, two fridges. We're not playing around with fridges. I, <laughs> I look at my old builds and I've got like eight fridges in there and I'm like, eight fridges? What the hell are you doing with eight fridges? The big ones too. Small constructor, uh, we've got some armor locker and a closet, O2, and yeah, just really, really, really efficient little, uh, it's got a warp drive. And a little small shield too. Solar's airtight. Cool, cool. It's nice, man. It's a nice little, uh, little warp vessel. Little guy. It's got a little turret on top. Probably put some turrets underneath, too, the way that's going down like that. And uh, well, Yeah, you could definitely fit, like, one or two or even three turrets on the bottom. As well as the top, there's more space for more. That's, that's good. Nice little, uh, put this guy's on the, on the low side here. Yeah, look at that. We've got... Barely anything, man. 1750 Neo. It's nothing to get this thing in. The Core 2. Solid, solid work. This is by All Name Use Gaming, and this is the Atomos Starter. Clean. Our next build is by Kletzaruni, and this is the KI Go Go Go. There we go. That's a klutz build right here. Look at this. It's like a little Winnebago. Yeah, solar hype. We've got uh, sentry turrets everywhere. Carpet. Yo. <laughs> oh, man, the colors. This is nuts. Generator spacing. Like I'm flying in a giant pickle, man. <laughs> Fred loves it. 116,000 cargo here. 149,000. On the other side. It does have a large constructor, food processor, and fridge. 
Uh, you've got tons of spacing back here for stuff. CS, cargo something, combat something, CPU something, I don't know. Shield, combat shield. Yeah, probably. It's got spacing up here for stuff, so I'm assuming. Assuming stuff. Oh no, it's probably the solar panel spacing. Yeah! Again, cut and dry, man. It's like. We know specifically what. Where's the warp drive? Is that a warp drive? Did I miss the warp drive? Warp! Warp. Warp drive goes here. This is here where the warp drive goes. Yeah, it's just more generators and stuff. Yeah. You could definitely put turret turrets on here as well. Unlock level seven. Wow. So this is this is really, really inexpensive. Twenty five hundred iron, four hundred neodymium. Like this thing is dirt cheap, man. But it's got all that function in it. Tons of function, tons of power. Wow, impressive. Very impressive. Yeah, you can get in this so cheap, man. Well done, sir. Well done. That is by Klutzaruni, and that is the KI Go Go Go. Yeah, that's cool, man. All right, our next build is by Drama Proof, and this is the BHZ Mantis. Ooh. A little, like, combat starter. So you got one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine. You got nine hard points for fixed weapons. Lots of uh, thrust here, long range radar, proof, future proof. Got a cannon turret on top. Three hundred and four uh, replaced with harvest. Ah, oh, that's clever. Uh, you've got a main of six hundred and eleven. A lot. Um, medical suite. Teleporter would go there. Advanced constructor. Hair. Yeah, it's got all the stuff. Shield. And it's. Wow, it looks like you could put a full shield in there if you wanted to. You have to move that detector. Good. Fit some more generators in here, probably, if you needed to. Has the warp drive. Yeah, no shit. Like, it's... This is awesome. It's a lot bigger than I thought. Wow. And then what's cool is you replace with Harvest, and this could also just be a miner. I mean, you got two, four, six, eight, nine. You, you've got eight drills right there. And then you can have like the fixed one can be a weapon or this could be combat and the, you know these can all be like artillery cannons and you could probably do some pretty devastating damage to uh non-shielded things or you could kind of mix it up and have some artillery and, and lasers and like it's really versatile what you could do with this really cool style too lots of really nice detail work with the uh the piping and the different colors and, and glowies and stuff. Yeah, that's impressive. Uh, this is an unlock level 12. Mainly made out of plastic. A little bit of a restroom in Zazcosium. And it is just a core 2 as well.
That's really, really cool. That is really good. That is by Drama Proof, and that is the BHZ Mantis. I gotta get more water, guys. Give me a second. I'll be right back. That's weird. Can you guys hear me now? Mike, Mike, Mike. 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 Oh, Mike. 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 All right, we're better, right? We're good? We're good. All right. All right, so our next build is by Dadrick, and this is the USS Spirit. Ooh. 
Yeah. I like the shape of this. Look at that. Cool. Wow, really nice shaping, man. Alright guys, I got cussed out for leaving the fridge open. I didn't mean to. Sorry. I'm sorry! Drew with the follow. This is cool, man. I like it. It's another one that's small, but it's got a ton of character. Got a little hanger here. Got hard points here, here, here. Oh, not only that, but you've actually got little, little thingies here. Little sentry thingies. Little pew pews. Really cool, Dadger. Yeah, so we got a nice hanger here. All of your cargo and uh, oxygen and O2 armor locker. Repair station. Car Are you I kept saying I was going to do this. And I yeah. Wow. Warp drive. Structure area here. What do we got? We've got 320k cargo container. Like that. It looks nice. The RCS. Birthing area here. Gravity generating room, a nice LCD work here. I like the LCDs. Gravity generator on a starter is pretty, uh, pretty high end. I'm not playing around. We don't like floating anywhere. No floaters here. Over here, we've got a uh, little medical wing here. It looks nice. Nice little curvy bits here. Very tricky ish. We got a little garden here. Oh, sorry. Habitation. Habitation area here. Breathing area here. Let's see. We've got glass shower gang. Bunks and what's not. So you could pick yourself like a like a pear or some dragon fruit when you wake up. And then, yeah, like you're good. It's all right there. Going to the bridge. No nonsense bridge. Still looks really nice here. Uh, let's see here. We go everywhere. Yeah, that's that's nice, man. It feels shippy ship. It feels like a full on internal ship. Doesn't feel like you crammed anything in there. Like it, it's fully. Yeah, but it's still just really small, man. This is great. A <laughs> pair. <laughs> yeah, this is this is cool, man. You did a really good job here. Yeah, these nacelles are what houses the uh, the generators and some fuel and stuff. So all internal thrust, you know, to to keep the look. Yeah, that's cool, man. This is a really cool. Oh, I didn't see the LCD work up front here. Wow, that's nice. a ton of room for the space yeah for sure but i just honestly i just really like the shape of it i i i, I like star wars ships De or star gosh i like star trek ships <laughs> when we did star trek month there was a lot of really cool ships but 
the whole saucer thing with the with the things in the back it's cool but it's not like it doesn't inspire me i guess I don't, i'm just more star wars than i am trek but but this like i really like the look of this because it's the same kind of saucer thing a little bit but i like how the nacelles come directly off of it and go back it, it's just it looks a little more like stubby which i really like it just yeah i don't know it just looks cooler to me than like your classic enterprise kind of look so it's it's this is nice dude it looks really cool Really well done there, Dadrick. That is the oh, let me hold on. Let me uh, give you the specs here. Oh oh, CPU defiant. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh uh oh. Uh oh. Uncertified. Oh. I gotta stop doing that. It, it happens every time, and I keep falling for it. Sorry. No, it's fine. It's good. It's good. That was the uh, that was the platform. That wasn't the ship. We're good. Sorry. Sorry. It's okay, Dadrick. Dadrick's cussing me out in the most respectful manner. <laughs> I can't picture him cussing me out. It's funny. It's like, oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Unlock level 15. It's uh, 12,000 iron. A little bit of a restroom. That's cozy. I'm nothing to cry about. Yeah, it's good. 20, 2360 Neo. Really, really good. And it is a unlock level. It's an unlock level zero. No core is required. Look at that. It's a coreless ship. That's awesome, dude. How'd you do that? You're amazing. It's a core too. It's okay. I'll auto arrange it for you, Dadrick. No worries. Very cool, man. Very cool. That is by Dadrick. That is the USS Spirit. All right, guys. So that's going to bring us to our next build. This is by Cole Salat. And this is the Rocklight Scout. Oh, Rook. Rook Light. See, I can't even read without these. Okay. The Rook Light Scout. That's probably a bunch of my problems. Is I'm just freaking blind nowadays. Ooh. Yeah. So what do we got? We got six hard points in the front. We got this really cool, like, it, it almost looks like a for salvage or drilling or something. We got hard points in the front here for two turrets, as well as a radar. Oh no, no radar! Yeah. It's got radar. Yeah. Radar. That's the wrong oh, there, radar sorry. love. Got a little ladder there to get into your little shippy ship. Thrusters all the way around here. We've got expandable capabilities for some advanced thrusters in the back. Uh, we got a big flight deck on the top here. Some turrets on the back here for drone. Take down here, a nice bridge in the front. Yeah. To the bridge, quick access out. Hey, it's Filbert. We got you feeling, Filbert? You feeling better, man? We got CPU uh, upgradable positions here. We got full medical suite. We got another awesome ladder going up to the uh, SV flight deck. We got a uh, hey, Filbert coming in with five gift subs. Look at that disgusting shower. That is a horrible looking shower. Welcome to XBC. Big hype from Filbert. Five more gift Welcome subs. To XBC. Mucho appreciado. You owe. You are Welcome awesome, sir. Advanced constructor. 320k ammo output. 
Harvest input at 320. More CPU deconstructor. Uh, repair station. Yeah, very nice. Nice, nice shaping here on the interior. I announced the challenge. No, it's not HP. I announced the challenge for next month. I did. And uh, you will have to wait for the brief because you weren't here because you slept in, Buko. So your fault. Um, let's see, we've got the extra, I'm kidding. So the, uh, the challenge, uh, for next month is salvage, um, uh, things. Salvage. Let's see what you could do with salvage. I need, I need real salvage vessels. CV, HV, SV, but it has to be designed specifically for salvage. Don't just throw a multi-tool turret on, uh, anything. I need everything to be geared around salvaging. But oh, that's what we're doing. It's gonna be awesome. I can't wait. I wanna see a lot of cool LCDs for this month, dude. I, I really wanna see some solving of the uh, salvage nonsense here. Blaster giving me a headache. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh. All right, that was a bad idea. All right, shield. We got the warp here. We've got room for uh, for shield part thingies, little capacitors and chargers and what's nots. Lots of nice interior work here as well. Yeah, this is good, man. Solid, solid little uh, starter here. Cool little uh, industrial looking ship. It's cool, man. Looks good. Make one, make fancy. I, I will copy all the LCDs. I can't even copy LCDs. That's what's so sad about me. I don't even have the heart to do that. Yeah, lots of upgradability here. Uh, this is a unlock level 12. It is a core two. And it is mainly plastic with about 10K iron as well. Very affordable on the Neo. And it's just really cool looking little ship here. Covers all the bases. Well done. Well, well done. I guess the only thing it doesn't do is it doesn't have a place for like smaller vessels, except for the SVs. So yeah, HVs, you know, what are we doing, right? Listen, if your HV can't climb vertical up anything, then it, it shouldn't even exist. That's what I say. Good job, sir. This is by Cole Salat, and this is the Rook Light Scout. Alright, our next build is by Ice Wolfen. And this is the IW Wolfguard. Okay, hold on. So... <laughs> well, what happened? You guys were just really late for the Star, Star Trek month? That's what I think happened here. No, I'm kidding. I, I've known of this one. This has been... Uh, oh, we saw this, right? Base tours? We saw this for base tours. You were working on it or something. Yeah, very cool. New build he did. Oh, his new build for season six. Okay, okay. Wolfguard. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. I like to use this spot for a retractable drill turret. Once I get more CPU, then replace one of the cargo controllers with a harvest controller. Man, you know what I want, right? I. I wish I was. Really busy. I want. I want. A, I want like an LCD, like this. But I want the the um, my logo. That'd be cool, like my angry face logo. That'd be awesome. I just don't know how you would ever do that. Like it's like pointillism or something. You just have to sit there and just make little pixels to draw the whole thing. I I don't think I could do that. I think I don't think I could do that. The shaping's awesome, man. The shaping is really good on this. bridge here 
Oh, there's a tool, Filbert? Oh, sweet. If there's a tool. Yeah, if there's a tool, just send me a link, dude. I'd love to uh, play around with it, to be honest. Good idea. Hangar door. Yeah. Lever action. Two constructors. Fleet yards. Nice. Full medical suite here. I like to use this spot for a fridge once I get more CPU. I like how it's so personal. I like to use this spot for uh, a... <laughs> like, you know, just take take with that what you will. But I, I like to use this spot for this. And, you know, I mean... Oh, God. That's... Gross. Really gross, man. Yuck. Quick access out. Quick reaction cockpit here. Come up here. We got gravity generator. Shield with a big shield upgrade spot. Oh, radar. With more thrust. One more thrust, no problem. Space for more lift thrust in between the existing ones. Forward and aft thrust. Has to be added inside naysails. Easiest way is to remove the first and last black fin block on the NCC sign. Then you can also upgrade to large fuel tanks for saving CPU. Ooh, future proofing for RG2. It's dangerous, sir. You guys are dangerous. We come up here and we're in awesome bridge land here. Look at this. All systems online. But let's test that. Aha, the thrusters. Ah, it's a lie. No, it's a lie. The thrusters are not online. All systems are not online. The shield's not online. That's a lie. But LCD is false. Teleporter. Quick way in and out on both sides. Yeah. Oh, wow. Come up here. You got a garden area. There's a ton of room in this thing. There's even more. What's this? More stuffs. Core stuffs. Marking on floors intended for future placement of CPU extenders in RG2. Dude. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not gonna... <laughs> it's fine. 152 input. Ammo box of 14,000. Hundred fifty two storage bay. Nice. Oh, a little birthing action here. Yeah. Lots of solar. Solar for days. Yeah, good job, man. So this is unlock level 12. And it's a core 2. It's a big ship for a core too, right? Ah, that's impressive. It's right there though. Like it can't get much closer. It's negative consumption right now with all those awesome solar panel thingies. It's amazing. It's amazing. Good job, Ice Wolfen. This is the IW Wolf Guard. What are we at here? Killing it. All right, our next build is by Kithid. And this is the HFS-6M starter. Bump, 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 bump. Nice.
Some nice piping here. Looks like future placement here for some advanced thrusters all the way around. I'm thinking, yeah, look at that. Space for advanced, 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 advanced. Yeah, all the way around you could upgrade this thing to advanced. Hard points on the bottom here for four turrets. As well as the top, you got one, two. If you don't want the SV deck, you could do that as well. Really nice. Nice upgradeability and stuff here. Done. Let's see here. It's going on the top here. Come board here. We've got the uh, bridge immediately. There's also lower access here. What, 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 what did I do? What did I do? I messed it up. All right, we're good. Two boxes here. Quick access out of the port and starboard. Um, last shower, toilet. Uh, this is where I would put a full medical station, the two large medical beds along the wall, two small ones on the ceiling. What? How would you do that? That's where I would put two large medical beds along the wall. One, two. Oh! I see. Why didn't she just include them? I guess, like, the CPU is really... Yeah, you're right. It's, like, really, really... Oh, it's over. Oh, it's now nah. disqualify, decertify, decertify. Uh, I'm not dunk. I can't do it. All right, crafting input at 320, crafting output at 320, image controller 128. Uh, we've got room for a full uh, shield here. As well as a uh, warp drive up top and taxid tank. Uh, yep. Access to all the thruster works. I don't see any more generator spots. I'm thinking you probably need some more generator stuff once you add the... Uh, or maybe it's just future-proofed already for that. All that thrust and stuff, you're going to need more generators, likely. But yeah, this is solid, man. It's it's nice, you know, nice use of space inside. It does feel shippy ship, but it's got everything there. It's got a bunch of upgrades all carefully lined out. It's uh, unlock level 10. Uh, it is a uh, core one. Yeah, so it's it's like super, super inexpensive here. What do we got here? It's just a little bit of copper, iron. 1564 Neo, like it doesn't cost anything. Hey, Revenant, how you doing, man? Yeah, very cool, man. Very cool. It's got some fixed, uh, four fixed uh, drill spots, so this could be a drill ship later on. Or a combat ship if you wanted to go that route. Solid. Solid. This is by Kithid, and this is the HF S6M starter. Alright guys, our next build is by Filbert Farmer, and this is the Achilles Class Sloop. Ooh, it's all stubby, I like it. Oh, I like stubby. It's good. It's like it's giving a big old hug to that thing, look at that. It's just giving it a big old hug. Where you going? Damn it. Hold on. Hold on, we messed it up. It's ruined. He didn't put much fuel in it here. Oh, the thruster is wrong. Yeah. Okay. Backwards into it here. Backwards. We're not looking. We're not looking. There we go. Yeah, that's nice, dude. Giving it some love. Looks cool. I like the back here too. We got some fixed points here. Two fixed points in the front.
Got a uh, 15 cal on the top. As well as the back here. Just all this, like, hinge stuff. All this, like, rotor looking stuff is really cool. That looks really strong there. It definitely looks like this guy, like, comes out like this and, like, lowers that down and then, like, ejects it or something. Oh, you forgot the O2 ventilator. IE. Oh, that means. What's IE? 320 cargo bay for harvest. Instructor input at 324. Internet Explorer. <laughs> Improved to extender. Improved extender C. Gotcha. Ooh, spiral stairs. Look at you. Look at you, man. I just think of like, I don't know, like singing in the rain or something when I see that. Yeah. How do you get up there? Oh, ladder. Oh, glowy ladder. Oh, hold on. Let's do our, let's do our, let's do our uh, lighting cue here. There we go. Okay, better. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, glowy ladder. Ooh. I didn't know you could do glowy ladders. That's cool. Wow. Come up here. We got a garden area. Lights off for uh, for saving of uh, everything. Uh, food processor. We got a little galley here. It's nice. Cargo here. A little cargo action. Another glowy ladder over there. Where's that glowy ladder go to? Not ready to go up there yet. Hold on. Let's see, we've got cockpit here. Got some lady bits here. Passenger little J seat here. J can just sit there. I wish I could zoom in to the interior to see that. Yeah, you never have socks. Free fridge hype. Yeah, you got a little you got a little crane in here too. Little little guy here, little zippy little little grabby guy there. It's cool. Now I'm thinking of Toy Story. Now let's see here. We're gonna go up. Oxygen station there. Go to our third deck here. Yeah. Repair station here. This is nice, man. It feels very shippy ship. Ooh, fancy birthing. That is a fancy birthing, man. We got some wood grain action here. We got some lights. We got some shrubbery. I mean, come on, dude. You got shrubbery. Yeah, look at that. That is that is classy. You can look at your garden as soon as you wake up with your cup of coffee. Nice. Very cool. Yeah, shrubbery. <laughs> Solid, dude. Really, really cool. Yeah, really nice ship, man. Really cool looking. Definitely uh, looks alive. You got the solar panels and really interesting sets here as well. All in all, a very good job, sir. A well done. That is, uh, oh, let's check the uh, thingies here. Unlock level 12. It is mainly plastic. Has a bit of iron there. Oh, wait, what did I do? There we go. And it is a core two. 
These are some amazing starters, guys. Guys, I think that's about as much as I can talk. I am, you know, now that I've finished this little shake I made to try to make my throat better, it's, uh, it hurts again. I think I could do any more talking, sadly. Um, but, but, we're almost halfway there. Well, kind of. I, I got to 20 builds here. So, we just gotta do, uh, 30, 35 next week. Hopefully I'll, uh, be doing a bit better next week as well. Uh, but in the event we may have to do three streams we, we can do that as well so um, I tried to be as efficient as I could without like going too fast but I think I think we did okay I think we saw everything um, but I gotta say like all of these builds today were very very efficient and compact I'm really impressed with what you guys have been able to do with such a uh, a small footprint these are all awesome do you look at them they're all got a ton of character and um yeah, super, super cool, man. So I really appreciate you guys. As always, this has been a huge turnout uh, for this month. Next month, I will be posting the brief. Uh, once Filbert reminds me, this will be the um, salvage salvage builds, basically. Focus design uh, salvage builds. Yo, you saw him on the server as well. Really cool, man. Really cool. So guys, thanks for all the hype as well, all the gift subs. Uh, you guys are amazing as always. Remember guys, you're not gonna see me until Tuesday, um, but I will announce and I'll let you know as far as um, the Spec Ops and the AMIC, all that stuff will be put out tomorrow. And we should be able to pay everything out tomorrow as well and get all that sorted. Um, so yeah, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, so stay, stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for announcements for that. Uh, there may be an impromptu stream tomorrow specifically for that. I'll let you Welcome guys know. To Silver coming in with five more gift subs. Thank you, man. Much appreciated, dude. Thank you so much. Welcome to XBC. Chuck, uh, Talazar. Welcome to XBC. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, oh, I still can't Welcome read. Welcome to XBC. Sumrel, Cobalt, and uh, Mayhemon with the uh, gifts us from Filbert Welcome as well. Big hype. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thanks, Stubert. Thanks, Pear. Uh, we will see you guys. Stay tuned for the raid. We're going to pass it on to somebody here. Um, me, personally, I am... Uh, oh, let me, let me show you guys real quick here. Because, you know, Wednesday, myself and Jay Randall did a... Um, we were going to do the uh, the mission for this week, the Spec Ox mission, and um, we yeah we didn't anticipate the shields on these POIs, but you know we also didn't have anything. So you know I mean most of you guys have things that can definitely take that out. We didn't, so I went to go make a new HV, and then I looked through my HVs and realized I had a perfectly good one that I can just go ahead and uh, retrofit to. Uh, to make it work for our specific issue here. So um, I have made the Falcon even F1 Mark II, which is what we will be using on uh, either Tuesday or Wednesday uh, to take down the uh, Blade Collective POIs here. And it works really well uh, movement wise. So we've got two rockets on the back, two Positron turrets in the front. We've got eight fixed laser cannons to take down the shields. We got a uh, harvester for good luck. A couple of Gatling cannons. Uh, it is a um, CPU tier eight or core eight. Sorry, core eight. Uh, double door. And uh, yeah, it's you know all the spawn stuff. It's got about a uh, ten thousand combined ammo cargo. Uh, so hopefully this should do the trick. It moves pretty good, so it's steel. Uh, but I think it moves okay to do what it needs to do. I mean, it's a little less performing than some of my other HVs, but it can at least negotiate terrain pretty well and and angle okay. I mean, if I was to add more RCS, I'd probably get there, but, but I think it's okay for what we need to do. But I pretty much already got it in on the server, so it does not barrel roll now. Sadly, it does not barrel roll. 
but it, it should be okay. I think I think it'll work. So we'll see if it works out good. I'll share this with you guys on the Patreon. Shout out to everybody on Patreon, as always, man. You guys, I mean, I, I couldn't stream if it wasn't for you guys. I mean, everybody, man. All the uh, give subs and everything. Um, it, it, it keeps me going, definitely. You guys, a lot of you guys know my situation and everything. So I really, really appreciate all the support. And, um, yeah. Get this thing in. Do some damage. But I, I'm, really, uh, I'm really enjoying Season 6. I've been playing... Pretty much every night, uh, mining and just kind of, you know, getting things going because, you know, I don't want to do the streams with Jay and then we're just kind of doing busy work. I want to kind of get to some of the good stuff. So I have been fun kind of prepping and, and uh, you know, like crafting and um, smelting and stuff, getting ready for uh, our next um, Let's Plays. So, yeah, it has been really good. The server's been running really well. Um, I can't say enough about it. Uh, shout out to uh, Darkest. Darkus, who was uh, off uh, getting getting a new place and everything, and he was successful, so we should see him back pretty soon here. Uh, Krell is, of course, server's running really well as far as the uh, whole admin team. We had an amazing event last week by the event admin team, uh, so they're already uh, planning the next one in the next month. We do have base tours coming up on the 10th, um, so that'll be after this designers challenge as long as the other one doesn't go too long i i don't know i might even just do that on a sunday if it ends up being a third stream we'll, we'll figure that out uh but we'll make sure that we get time in to do that base tours and um and then yeah we might have another event after that week so it's been good hot pants that's awesome dude like i i definitely always want to kind of give you know get more of these uh interesting things for you guys to do but i think it's just a fun way to make money while also having some some fun targeted challenges for the week, you know? It just kind of keeps you a little bit focused on what you want to do. Otherwise, you'll get a little bit complacent in your playthrough and you won't really have anything fun. Um, I, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> guys, take care and we will catch you. Uh, I'll catch you on Tuesday. Stay tuned for the raid, guys.